I'm back. This is Tanya M, aka Diablo Verde. For those who are new, if you are looking for honest wig reviews and tutorials and teaching you how to slay your wig to the gods, go ahead and subscribe. Hit that subscription button down below and hit the notification bell so you're notified anytime I upload new videos. I said that really fast, I know, but you know what I'm talking about. Today we're gonna be doing a wig review on a on a newer wig not the one i'm wearing if you want to see the review for the one i'm wearing i will be posting it up i'm not sure if it's going to go up before this one or after but i will definitely link it whenever it does go up and just let me know in the comments too if i forget so today's wig review is going to be by red carpet premiere which is part of the main concept line and this is from the category trendy girl so i did one recently before from their macaroon girl line and that was another another colorful wig it was um i will link it above it was out of this world it was really nice the color blend was awesome so i'm expecting a lot from this unit here this is trendy girl number one and i have her in the color fm royal blue i've been loving blue and it's so weird because my first video i made um for my like color wig lookbook was orange i'm like orange is gonna be my summer color but i've been getting into the blue wigs now so i don't know i'll probably rock them both during the summer so this is what she looks like before i take her out of the package she is a shorter unit she looks about 16 to 18 inches long and she looks like she's blunt cut at the bottom with a little bit of a curl at the at the end like a bump and you know how i feel about them bumps like i be feeling like they be making the wig look so fake so let me just go ahead and take her out of the package and we can look at her before i place her on my head again this is what she looks like on the stock card they have the color fm hot pink and fm rose pink hot pink rose pink that's on the front of the card um, on the back, it shows the other colors. So I have this color, which is the FM Royal Blue. You have FM Walnut, which is just like a, like a number four with blonde streaks in the front. Then you have FM 350. It's a nice copper color. And then FM, FM Torch Red. So those are the colors that come with this unit. Okay. This is the unit itself. So, she is a thinner unit than, um, like the, like the, this is, okay. This reminds me of the Vela Vela wig. Um, she's staticky. Ooh. This reminds me of the Vela Vela wig I did a review on with the Cardi B pink. And that's where this hot pink, this is the color. So, this is why I was like, this wig is familiar. But it wasn't by red carpet it was by bella bella and her name was mina so if you're looking and that one was really long it was to the floor so if you're looking for a longer unit with the pink go get the the rose um or the bella bella wig mina it is shedding out of the pack not a lot just a little bit she comes with hella baby hairs look at them baby hairs good lord look at them baby hairs so i would not have to cut no baby hairs the parting is okay. I might go. I definitely will go in and pluck it. Um, I will be wearing her in the middle. So I'm not going to worry about the hairline too much. She's long. So she's a longer one. And it doesn't look long on here. I don't know why. <laughs> I thought this was going to be more like a long bob. But whatever. So I'm going to go ahead and take this off. And put her on before we cut the lace so we can see what she looks like on. So the one thing I like to look at when I look at a wig and which, what can I do to her to make her better is look at look at her before I actually cut the lace. So it does it, it definitely has the blue streaks in the front. Although I feel like it's getting lost on this side, the light blue. Because I have to brush the hair back. There we go. Never mind. It's there. It's there. It's not getting lost into the dark blue. So. This is what she looks like on. I'm going to have to press her out a little bit here. 
and this is what she looks like from the back I don't like the flips because you see what it does like it flips backwards I want to see how it is okay I guess it's a I'm short so it does come down longer than it does on the stock card because if you see on the stock card it only comes down to the top of her boob but for me it comes down past my boobs because I am she might be a tall model um, this is about an 18 inch long wig it's a nice um, length because I'm usually with I stick with the 18 inch long wigs as my standard like everyday length like I said she has a lot of baby hairs that we can work with here I have her adjusted all the way in the back and it doesn't feel tight at all so that's just a forewarning that this cap might be a little big for those especially like me I have a small peanut head and usually if the cap is loose that means it's not gonna work out um, it might be just too loose you might need a wig grip or something but that's that's a fixable problem the hair is it's not as silky as the Mina wig so it's not something I would say is super silky but she is definitely not yakky so she, I would definitely put her in a silky category but not um like too silky like a baby doll hair okay guys I'm gonna go ahead and speed it up here y'all know that um I love to ramble on and I also love to fix my wigs I don't just wear them as is I just I can't I, I live in Philly and if you are fully native, you know, you will get clowns for wearing a synthetic wig straight out of the beauty supply store. It just don't work like that here. So I'm going to go ahead and pluck her. And even though she's not very thick, I did thin the ends out some. So just so it can like look a little bit more natural. And I flat ironed it. So continue watching if you want to see how I do all that. If not, go ahead and get to the end so you can see my final thoughts on the wig. dolls I'm back and um I finished customizing the wig I showed y'all the wig right out of the pack and you know I always gotta make my wigs look more realistic I think that's my goal like I don't wear synthetic wigs and just pop them on my head I can't do that um only way I don't do that is if I feel like I can't and then I just review for y'all and I sell it <laughs> because I just I, I'm not gonna wear it I know I'm not so um yeah I really feel like I gotta fix my eyebrow on this side but whatever so now that I got hair everywhere I did thin the wig out I felt like I needed to make it more realistic the flips on the ends just weren't realistic at all it just looked really fake and costumey I also um went ahead and laid my baby hairs off camera oh and flat ironed it like straight so as you can see the ends now are straight I just thought it was really weird that it was at that length and it was bumped like, I could understand if it really came up to here that might be something cute like a long bob but no I probably could flatten it out here but I don't know hold on let me see if I can put this back on because I usually use my wand curler to do that but I don't have it right now so I'm just gonna do it with that anyway 
but my thoughts on the unit is really nice i love the construction i love the thought of on um, through it i didn't like the pink as much as the blue like i love the blue i wish the mino wig came in a longer color with the blue in the front like that i know they had the navy blue and like a mint blue but if it was like this color so red carpet they are um they did good with the colors like the, the whole color thing this year with the macaroon girl the trendy girl like they really banged out these colors to the max mina um they just fell short for me even though it wasn't bad and they still fell short i love the quality of the hair more on the red carpet unit and um i love the quality of hair more for this for the trip for the what is this red carpet main main concept red carpet because it just feels more durable more realistic than the mina one felt more like doll hair even though you could work with it um there was no shine to this unit at all i mean it's like a natural luster shine i don't know if it's coming off shiny on my camera i can't really tell but um if it is just know that it's not like that in person it comes off as a natural luster and now that i have thinned it out and made it look a little bit more realistic and flattened her out i really i don't i don't think um a female will be able to tell if um this was a wig or not i just don't think so i don't want to take this wig off at all i want to keep her on for the rest of the week but i have more wig reviews to do for y'all so i am gonna take her off and put her to the side and put her back on when I'm done and whatnot. So, tell me what you think. Y'all know my blue has been my color lately. Like, I've been falling in love with blue. Blue hair, to say the, to, to, that's what I mean. Like, blue hair. Um, so, tell me what y'all think down in the comments below. What do you think about Trendy Girl 1 in an FM Royal Blue? I'm just going to wear it. I really want to wear this. I'm wearing this this weekend. I think I might try to go out this weekend because it's my last weekend free before. Well, my new job is I don't work on the weekends, but it's my last weekend before I gotta go back go to work, like go to work work. So I might go out this weekend and I'll wear this one. Ooh, I feel luxurious. I luxurious guys girl <laughs> y'all can't tell me y'all cannot tell me nothing in this way <laughs> again don't forget to like comment and subscribe